Today, we are starting to rank pitchers in our top five um, series going into 2021. Today, we have the starting pitchers. Before we get started, I figured I'm going to mention a stat that I've been using in my past um, videos that you might not be familiar with and I will continue to use in today's video. Um, for the hitters, it was called OPS Plus, and for the pitchers, it's called ERA Plus. So basically what it is, it's kind of like a point system, not like a point system, but it's just based in pure numbers that really are, it's a stat that counts for the park. So it adjusts for the park that the player plays in. For example, if a hitter plays in Coors Field, um, his numbers are going to increase. So the, so the OPS Plus is going to be a little bit less in general. And for pitchers, if they pitch in, say, Coors Field, um, their ERA Plus is going to be, in general, higher because that's a hard ballpark to pitch in. So I just thought I'd get that out of the way um, before we start. And by the way, for that stat, the league average is 100. So if someone's ERA Plus was 115, they are 15% better than the average pitcher. So anyway, so now let's get started. Coming in at number five, the fifth best starting pitcher going into 2021 is Trevor Bauer, now of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Um, Bauer obviously won the Cy Young last year. He was 5-4 and four with a 1.73 ERA, 276 ERA+, plus. so he is basically so much better than league average last year with exactly 100 strikeouts. Um, that was not the first um, all-star caliber um, season he's ever had. He was an all-star back in 2018 where he was 12-6 and six with a 2.21 ERA, 196 ERA+, plus, 96% better than the league average pitcher. With a 2.44 fifth, another analytical stat, that was um, league leading. He also had 221 strikeouts. Um, what's holding him back, I guess, is inconsistency. He did, he did have four ERA back in 2019 and a couple seasons before 2018. If he could cl um, clean that up, he could find himself higher on this list. Coming in at number four is going to be Max Scherzer of the Nationals. His history, he has a great history. He's a three-time Cy Young Award winner, seven-time All-Star. And he's um had a he had a four year streak of finishing top three in the Cy Young voting from 2016 to 2019. Um, in 2019 he had a 2.92 ERA in 27 starts, and in 2020, um, declining a little bit with 3.74 ERA. So like I said, he is declining a little bit. Um, the thing with Scherzer, his history is so incredibly good. Like I said, four straight years finishing top three in the Cy Young is nothing to sneeze at. Um, it would not surprise me if he still had a 3 ERA in 2021, but it would not surprise me if he went back to his all-star form with a 2 ERA. Um, I'm going to have to see otherwise from Max Scherzer for me to rank him not in my top 5. Coming in at number 3 is going to be Shane Bieber of the Cleveland Indians. In 2019, he was an all-star with a 15-8 and record, a 3.28 ERA, 259 strikeouts, and 3 complete games. He finished 4th in the Cy Young voting. In 2020, he won the Cy Young. He had a 1.63 ERA, 122 strikeouts, which I believe was league leading, and a 200 ERA, 281 ERA plus. He also averaged 14.2 strikeouts per nine. He struck out so many batters last year. That was also league leading, I believe, at least for starters. Um, Shane Bieber, um, he's known for his strikeouts, his swing and miss stuff. And he is an incredible, he has an incredible future, and he is the ace of the Indians, the number three pitcher going into 2021. Coming in at number two is Garrett Cole of the New York Yankees. From 2018 to 2020, he averaged a 2.71 ERA, 232 strikeouts for a full season, and a 162 ERA plus. In 2019, he had a very impressive 326 strikeouts, and for his second in the Cy Young voting, arguably could have won it. Garrett Cole is an, a, a fantastic pitcher for the Yankees, um, one of the best in the game. I think he is obviously the best in the American League, but not the best in baseball because that spot goes to Jacob deGrom of the other New York team, the New York Mets. Um, his career averages are a 2.61 ERA, 1.04 whip, and a 150 ERA plus. His highest ERA came in 2017, when his ERA was a 3.53. In 2018, he led MLB with a 1.70 ERA in that Cy Young year. In 2019, he repeated as a Cy Young, striking out um, a league, the league best that year. And in 2020, he led the league in strikeouts again, at least the National League. Um, Jacob deGrom is an incredible pitcher. Um, 
he arguably could have won Cy Young again last year if he had a full season to work with. We'll never know that, but it would not have surprised me. Um, it's kind of an argument between DeGrom and Cole. In my opinion, not so much. DeGrom is just so much better, in my opinion. With the, his, He has a full pitch arsenal, the strikeouts, the, the history with the Cy Youngs. Jacob DeGrom is just the best pitcher in baseball. That's why he's number one. That's all for Patch Stats today. If you want to watch some more Patch Stats, this is my most recent upload, and this is a video that YouTube recommends you watch. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.